Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me at lunchtime run time. Today's training is going to involve me going for a run today. And I think I'm going out for a ride this evening. Out on the road in a weekday evening. I don't think I'll need lights. Awesome times. Today is an absolutely brilliant weather day. It's about 15, 16 degrees Celsius. Low winds, sunny. What's not to love? Now, I have a wrist brace on again. And if you watched yesterday's video, you might know that I was told to not have to wear this anymore. Well, last night was bad. I woke up a couple of times in the night due to wrist pain because I was moving my wrist around and it was not good this morning. So I put this back on. I've called the fracture clinic and really long story short, I've booked another private MRI scan this weekend. So at least within the next week or so, I should find out definitively what is actually going on my wrist. Kicking myself, I should have done this a few weeks ago, but such is life. I can only control the future, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've got no more time for messing around. I need to train like I mean it. I need to resolve injuries like I mean it. Because I've got a lot of stuff I wanna do this year. I wanna take you guys and girls along too. And that's what I'm gonna do. Positive mentality. Well, that all starts with me getting this lunchtime run done. It should be about 45, 50 minutes. Just nice and steady. A couple of hills on the route, so they're not quite as easy as they should be, but I'm just gonna really enjoy this. Not look at the watch, look around me, listen to some tunes and get cracking. So let's get plodding. Oh, run done and dusted. It is warm. I am sweating, but that is not a complaint. I'll leave the stats on screen. Just over five miles, nine minute mile in, 46 minutes of running. I felt really good, to be honest. Obviously, my barometer of how I felt has been reset over the last week or so, so average is good. I did, however, chuck this camera on the floor for no apparent reason halfway around and snap this mount. But there you go. Right, I'm gonna get back home, crack on with the afternoon of work, and then providing I can build my bike after work, it is nearly built post-travel. I'm just gonna put the wheels on and saddle in and stuff. I'm gonna get out on the bike tonight, so hopefully see you there. Oh, so evening ride time. It is brilliant to be back in Darbados, back out in the Peak District where I love cycling. However, I have already been welcomed back into cycling on British roads. So on the way out, I came across, there was a, a, somebody walking three Shetland ponies down the road. Whatever, right? No stress, whatever. Two cars in front of me, and obviously they're going at horse walking pace, which is very slow. And then the cars almost stopped. So I filtered past one truck, and then the other car overtook the pony, so so did I. And when I went past the ponies, I had the camera recorders. I thought, oh, this would be a cool little bit of B-roll. Three, you know, three shot and ponies walking down the street. You don't see that every day. And I just sensed something was going to happen behind me. You know, sometimes you get that like sixth sense. And I thought, as I passed that one car that I filtered past, he like revved his engine a little bit. And I was like, oh, you start thinking about that sort of thing. I'm like, okay, I'll keep this camera rolling. Came, came alongside me, shouted something at me that I couldn't quite make out what he was saying. He said something like, every day, mate, or something. Maybe he was saying, you need to ride your bike every day, mate. But... Every day, that mate, every day. <laughs> what? What are you about? Anyway, I don't quite understand. I'm going to assume that he wasn't happy that I'd filtered past him, but I would like to point out that he's completely illegal. We were doing about two miles an hour, and I just wanted to you know, make my way through. If we're going to be sat behind those ponies for miles, I can get through on a bike, leaving them plenty of space. You can't in a car. Anyway, at least he didn't knock me off a bike, whatever, but um, I wish people would like research stuff before having a good old moan. Anyway, tonight's ride is the club route from last night. Nobody went out last night because it was raining and I wouldn't have gone with them anyway because they're too fast for me at the minute. Uh, and there's a couple of people going out at various times tonight to ride this route, but I just wanted to get out, ride my own pace and just have a cruisy spin round. So that's what I'm doing, no pressure. I'm feeling like I don't need to be trying to hang on to people at the minute. I'm just need to ride my own pace, get consistent rides in. Hi, hey. hey, mate, you all right? And this is how, see, there you go. And that's how I'm going to get fit. Running in the daytime, riding in the evening, consistently. Let's go.
Great timing, just come across Ben. Rid of, ridden with him for a few miles. He's just doing an effort up this hill. I didn't want to say, so am I, mate, right now. <laughs> I'm absolutely dripping. It is really warm. Good to have some company now. Right, done and dusted. Stats on screen. I am so freaking happy to be saying that now. Right, just over two hours, normalized 228 watts. I feel not terrible. I don't feel anywhere near fit, but that's not as bad as it could have been. So I think the fact that I've been running for the last few weeks, apart from last week, has helped me maintain some sort of bike fitness, but I do still have a lot of work to do, but that's fine because I'm ready for a lot of work. I'll take it play by ear over the next few days as to what other training I do on the bike. I am following the plan from Coach Chris, but you know, I've got freedom to do more as and when I feel like I can. It's a 50-50 decision process, I think. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe and a lot of jazz. And I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some more triathlon training.